Hey there, Taurus, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your mid-month reading. This is going to be a reading for June 15th through the 30th, and we're going to take a look at your past, present, and near future energies. Also, Taurus, if this reading resonates and you'd like to book a personal, check out the description box below. And of course, if you enjoy what I do and you want to say thank you, your girl loves coffee. Donation link is also below. Any and every amount is greatly appreciated. And lastly, if you enjoy these readings and you want even more free readings, make sure to subscribe to my email list. I send out free extended readings every Monday only to my email list subscribers. Bottom of the deck, Taurus, you get the Four of Swords. Main energy for your reading is the Ace of Cups. And you get the Ace of Pentacles here and the Fool. Definitely beautiful, little, be I can't even talk. Beautiful, 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 brand new beginning energy. Um, your person can be any sign. The signs that I'm seeing are Aries and Leo. Um, yeah, there's a lot of healing energy showing up here for you in this reading. I like it, especially when it comes to love. So in the recent past, you get the Ten of Wands, the Sun, and the Fool. There is a completely, completely new start here. Something that was weighing on you, something that was very difficult, very heavy, very strenuous. Literally, like the difficult part is gone. You're showing me like this heavy energy is replaced with happiness. The Sun is literally the happiest card in the entire tarot deck and it's showing up for you in the recent past along with the fool it's like we've started this new path we've started this new journey yay so really 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 positive energies for you in your recent past especially if you felt that something was like really heavy or difficult and it was like almost like a burden that seems to have ended for you in the recent past in the current situation, you get the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. Like I said, there is a brand new beginning here, but you kind of don't trust it. You're showing me like I'm very guarded, I'm very defensive, I'm still like closed off. You're still very um, emotionally keeping your cards close to your chest. And it's not that you don't like this new beginning, you do. Obviously, Ace of Pentacles, like it's very, very positive energy. It feels very, very good. But for some reason, you're showing me like I'm cautiously optimistic. I'm approaching this with like, okay, let's wait and see type of thing. Um, I don't know if this is another person that you're dealing with or what, but you're essentially showing me like I'm not opening up emotionally and I'm approaching this with a very guarded demeanor. In the near future, you get the Six of Swords, the Emperor, and the Six of Pentacles. Six and Six. There's very much an energy of you showing me um, there is another person here. So there's another energy and there's a good flow between you and them. Like things work like you give you receive whatever you give to this person you receive an equal amount and it feels very very good and you feel like you and this person have finally moved from the difficult icky energies into much calmer much more stable energies but then why are you showing me the emperor here in the middle the emperor is all about control and needing things to be in a certain way and essentially like being in control of a situation these two energies are very positive so i'm wondering who is this trying to exert control or make sure that everything is operating the way it's meant to in the near future let's see let's clarify the ace of cups which is the main energy for your reading ace of cups is clarified by the four of cups the knight of cups and the six of swords you get the six of swords here in the near future this is a very very beautiful brand new beginning your person is coming in and i do feel like it's your person they're coming in and they're literally offering you their cup of love taurus they're coming in they're like here take it take my emotion what you're showing me is a much much um different energy than the past so either you and this person have history or you know you're just not used to getting this type of energy when it comes to romance and relationships and you're showing me like me and this person have moved in a better direction i finally feel like it's calm it's stable it's grounded um, and you enjoy this offering. Obviously, who doesn't love it when somebody comes in and gives you literally all of their feelings on a silver platter? And that's what you're showing me here. Like, I like it. It feels good. It feels amazing. So why do I feel like you're still unhappy? I don't know how to explain it. It's like somebody's coming in and giving you their love and you're sitting here with this energy, just kind of like, mm, I guess, I don't know, maybe. That's kind of the energy I'm getting from you. And my question to you, Taurus, is why? We'll clarify and see. We'll see throughout this reading. Let's start off with the recent past. Um, we'll clarify the Ten of Wands in the recent past for you. Ten of Wands is clarified by the Knight of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. So the difficult part for you when it comes to love, and again, when I say love, it could be with this person or it could be just love in general. Take it as it resonates. 
The difficult part for you in the recent past was the inconsistency, the hot and cold, the in and out, the mixed messages. When it comes to love, you're showing me that's the part that weighed on me the most. That's the part that was like the most difficult for me to deal with. That's the part that didn't really sit well for me. And so for a very, very long time, you were kind of single. You were just doing your own thing, focusing on yourself. You're like, being single is easy. I can take care of myself. I can meet all my needs. I don't really need anybody else. I want a relationship. I want love. But, you know, at least when I'm single, I'm not disappointed. I don't have to get through these mixed messages. I don't have to deal with inconsistent people. Like, that works for me. That feels better for me. And again, when I say better, I mean more stable because you do still want love here in the recent past. Let's clarify the sun in the recent past. Sun is clarified by the two of swords, the moon and the queen of swords. And you're showing me like, I just don't know again. And this is the recent past. So you wouldn't be experiencing this energy anymore. Um, I just don't know like when I'll truly be happy. I want true happiness. The sun is the happiest card in the entire deck. And you're showing me that's what I want. And I just don't know like when I'm going to get it. I don't even know if I'm ever going to get it right? Look at these cards. They're all blue and green. The sun is yellow and pink and vibrant. And you're showing me like, I don't know if I'm ever going to feel that. I, I don't know. And again, this is a limiting belief to us. This is more so, I guess, a fear or limiting belief based on your past history with relationships. Um, but it's kind of creeping in here where you're like, well, maybe it's just not for me. Maybe I'm just never going to be happy. Maybe I'm never, never going to be in that energy. I don't know. I genuinely have no clue. And the, the interesting thing, Taurus, is this doesn't come with pain or sadness or like, you know, woe is me. It's you're genuinely showing me like, I just don't know if I'm ever going to be happy like that. If I'm ever going to experience that level of happiness when it comes to love. You're not playing the victim. You're not, you know, woe is me. It's just you're kind of looking at it like black and white. Like, I just don't know. Let's clarify the fool in the recent past for you. Fool is clarified by the world, the seven of cups, and the eight of wands. Bottom of the deck, you get the emperor, which you get again here in the near future. The world is the last card in tarot, and the fool is the first card. And so you're showing me I've essentially closed out this cycle of confusion, overwhelm, you know, not knowing what's what. All that is over, and I'm starting a brand new cycle. Now, in this new cycle, your big emphasis is communication. You're making sure that you're no longer keeping things to yourself. You're no longer concealing anything. You're like, I will say anything and everything that I have on my mind. I don't care how it makes you feel. I don't care if, it, if you like it, don't like it, whatever. You're going to hear what I have to say. This is a very, very beautiful energy, Taurus, because you're kind of like, this is me. I'm here. Deal with it. Like it or not, I am the emperor. Um, I'm the one that's kind of like going to dictate how this goes. Now, this could be between you and somebody else in a relationship. This could just be for yourself where you've made the decision of like, I'm no longer hiding who I am, how I feel, what I want. But the biggest thing in this new cycle that you've started in the recent past is open, transparent communication. Let's take a look at the current situation. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for you. Wow. Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. There's definitely a brand new beginning in love here for you, showing up in the current situation. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. I think you also got the Ace of something else, Ace of Cups twice. So there's definitely a new beginning in love. But you have your doubts. You have your question marks. And again, it lines up with these other energies where you don't 100% trust this person. Um, it's kind of like this energy of being cautiously optimistic where sometimes you allow yourself to really just dive into the feelings of love and feel the emotion and feel the positive and it feels good and it feels great. Other times you're kind of like, eh, wait a minute, stay back. I need to like think about this. I need to analyze this a little bit more. Um, some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio. It's very much like, okay, I'm good. Wait, wait a minute. Let me pull back. I need to assess. Okay, we're good. Let me wait. Let me think about this. I need to kind of like pull back a second to analyze this. That's kind of the the back and forth energy that you're showing me um, for you in the current situation. Clarify the seven of wands for me in the current situation. Oh. Seven of wands is clarified by the page of wands, the judgment and the four of wands. So remember how I said that you kind of are cautiously optimistic. You're keeping this person at arm's length, but you're still enjoying their energy. 
in the current situation, it goes beyond just enjoying the energy. You're starting to realize that this is a really deep, strong bond that you're sharing with this person. And you kind of don't like that realization. There's a little bit of resistance there for you in terms of accepting this bond and allowing yourself to feel this. Because remember, you don't 100% trust this person yet. And the fact that you're starting to quote unquote get attached, emotionally attached and really feel connected to them and feel like that bond, um, you realize it, you like it, you enjoy it, but it's also kind of like, okay, well now I'm, I'm in a little bit of like dangerous territory for myself because there's that added, I guess, like risk. And so you're showing me, okay, well time will tell where this goes, time will tell how it unfolds, but you're definitely starting to get more attached to this person and this connection in the current situation. Let's clarify the four of pentacles in the current situation for you. This is you. Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Empress, the Devil, and the Page of Pentacles. You're not opening up completely. You may have a little bit of a, we'll call it a defense mechanism. It's, it's, it's not the healthiest, I will say that, Taurus, um, where your defense mechanism is literally kind of like shutting down, holding back, and not really giving the other person much. What I mean by that is you have a lot of love to give. You really care about them. You feel this strong bond and strong connection to them. And what you're doing is you're essentially only giving them, showing them like this much of you emotionally, energetically, right? And so that would be like them initiating calls, you not initiating. Them texting always first, you don't really text first. Um, them having to make the plans, right? You're not really, and again, I understand why you're doing this. It is a protective mechanism. It's a defensive mechanism. You don't want to get hurt. But just be aware of that in the current situation where you may be like really, really closed off. Like you sometimes may even go into hermit mode um, when it comes to this person and this connection. Let's take a look at the near future. Clarify the six of swords for you in the near future. Six of swords is clarified by the chariot, the star, and the four of swords. I like this because you're moving in a much more healed direction. Remember this closed off energy? You're showing me, yeah, I'm literally like, the way I am in the current situation, I'm leaving that behind. I'm, I'm walking away from that. We're moving, we're progressing. We're moving in a very, very positive direction. And things are really picking up here in the near future. And it's beautiful because it's exactly what you wanted. The star is very much an energy of like wish upon a star. This is what you wanted. You wanted to feel healed. You wanted to feel good. You wanted to feel stable. This is the direction that you wanted to move in. And you're showing me it's happening very, very quickly. Like, let's go, let's go, let's go. I will say you get the five of swords at the bottom of the deck. Not to say that you aren't moving in a completely new direction and that, you know, you're completely healed and you're open and all of that. You are just not to the extent that you think you are. You think that this is like a completely different Taurus. Like, the Taurus of the, the current situation, the one that's like closed off and doesn't trust the person, new, new, new phase, new me. Yes, not to the extent that you think though. You've opened up, you're definitely expressing more, not to the extent that you think. Oh my God, it just got so dark here all of a sudden. Like the clouds are just the overcast. Crazy. <laughs> and it'll get light in a second again. Let's clarify the emperor in the near future for you, Taurus. Emperor is clarified by the death, rebirth, the fool, and the five of wands. Bottom of the deck, you get the ace of wands. You're the one that's trying to exert control here. Um, uh, uh, kind of like over this, this other person. Again, some of you may be dealing with Scorpio. Now, the reason you're doing this while you're trying to like really control everything is because you have a fear of this ending. You don't want this to end. But you're also showing me there's this level of risk involved in me even pursuing this connection, right? Because essentially by being with somebody else, you have to put yourself out there. You have to open up emotionally. You can't be a closed off hermit. And therein lies the conflict for you. Do I open up and expose my soft underbelly and like enjoy the emotion, be vulnerable and all of that? And there's the sun again. Or do I stay closed off and shut off? And then, and literally the sun went away as I said that. Um, do I stay closed off and shut off and then like, but be protected, right? You're a little bit conflicted here in the near future. Um, and you're kind of like happy medium. The way you kind of negotiate this with yourself is like, oh, okay, well, what I'll just do is I'll just try to control everything as much as I can, because that way I can like eliminate the risk a little bit, which again, false sense of security to us, but you do you. Let's clarify the six of pentacles in the near future. 
Eh, it works out. Six of Pentacles is clarified by the Six of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Lovers. The more you spend time with this person and the more there's that equal give and take, that balance, that flow, where this person kind of shows you, hey, what you give, I give you back. You can trust me, the better you feel, right? The Three of Cups with the Lovers is like the more time you spend with them, the deeper this connection gets. And then with the Six of Wands, it just works out. Like it feels like it works out. You feel successful. You kind of unclench a little bit. You relax. You learn to trust them more. All of this works out. So basically, if I had to summarize this reading in, in one phrase, relax, Taurus, it all works out the way you want it to, literally. So you have nothing to worry about. Um, let's see what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month, Taurus. Sorry for this reading because it's June 15th through the 30th. From the universe, you get the Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Bond of the Deck, you get the Chariot. You're moving in a beautiful direction. You're moving towards a strong bond, a stable, successful long-term relationship, and it's really going to work out. It's going to work out the way you want it to, Taurus, so just relax. Just relax. I see the fear. I understand the fear, but it works out the way you want it to work out. Um, okay, let's pull an Oracle card before we close off this reading, see what you need to keep in mind this month or sorry, for this reading. Why do I keep saying this month? You get elves, playfulness, and this is number 15. So this card is essentially telling you, embrace your innocence, let go of heavy responsibilities and heavy energies. Give yourself a break. Nurture your spirit by doing something fun. Joy is as important for sustaining yourself as the food you eat, and remember to always allow your inner child to play. So Taurus, that is what I have for you. Playfulness. Be happy. Um, if this training resonates, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you here on the next one.